Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to Bad Wolf Farm. My name is Barbara and let's take a walk into the cottage garden and see what Johnny's doing. All right, Johnny, so what are you working on today? Corn. Corn, huh? Or peppers, I forgot which one. Okay, so you got some, okay. So corn hates to be transplanted, but that's okay. You got a broken one here. All right. So you can do something like the three sisters method, where since we already have some sunflowers here, these are the ones that Sonia gave us. You can put the corn all around it. And then you could also go ahead and plant a squash so that it kind of creates a mulch on the floor so we can get rid of some of these weeds. And it'll all climb up the sunflowers and get pollinators. It's really cool. The Native Americans used to use that method. All right. When do we plant them again? Go plant them now. Go, you know, if you want, um, you can go ahead and plant the corn in between each of the sunflowers. So go ahead, you see a sunflower, plant a corn, then another one, another. Now you're better off planting in blocks than in rows. But we're gonna do with what we got. So let's go ahead and plant some rows. Okay, so Johnny, you just saw him plant his corn. Um, I let the kids plant what they want, however they want, and if they do it before I get a chance to guide them in how to do it, then it's kind of a learning experience. Um, I know that we traditionally see corn being grown in rows. That is a monoculture, a way to grow things which is not the best way it increases pests and things like that which is why uh, commercial growers have to you know well they don't have to they choose to but they kind of do if they want to feed the masses um, have to use GMO crops and pesticides herbicides fungicides all those sorts of things um, in the garden and again I do not really have a corn patch growing I have you know two stalks of corn that somebody left that I threw in my garden and he's putting in a little row um, they're really not going to be able to be pollinated correctly in a row like this. You want to plant your corn in clusters, you know, more like a, a square filled with corn than, you know, rows and rows and rows. So what I suggested to him since he did this little row was that he put it in between the sunflowers because we're going to try to do like a three sisters method. Uh, three sisters method is uh, kind of a way that traditional Native Americans used to grow some of their crops like um, their beans, the sunflowers, the corn, on uh, types of squash. So basically you put up your sunflowers in your corn and your beans basically grow up the stalks and then your squashes go on the bottom and it basically prevents, you know, bugs from going all over the place and there's more to it than that I mean the beans have a really rich source of nitrogen if I'm not mistaken so it's kind of a cool way to grow I have not done that this year I did it back in um, 2019 and it did really beautifully if I have a picture I'll, I'll insert it somewhere in the video but we're gonna let him do his thing because if you allow children to be um, in love with the garden and growing and things like that, then they feel freedom in that, you know? And the only way to learn sometimes is to just kind of get your hands dirty 
and dig and plant and if it works you you learn from that and if it doesn't work you also learn from that and yes it's important for um all of them to to learn and grow and whatever but you still need experience you know because something that worked for somebody somewhere else is not always going to work for you where you're at whether it's your zone or your soil your water your you know the atmosphere like just everything is different so it's okay to plant something and it not go great and it's also okay to plant something and it go really great so that's kind of what I'm trying to encourage in my kids is that it's okay to plant it's okay to you know do whatever it is that you want to do in the garden and you know obviously you should learn and seek advice and I give it when I when I'm able to catch them in time but it's still such a it's such a growing learning experience in the garden that I don't stress it you know I don't think I've ever stressed stuff like that um, yeah I want it to look nice yes I want it to be um, efficient and you know produce food and a crop right I don't just want to be standing here with nothing you know I want to be able to grow my own food but um it's okay to make mistakes um and it's okay to try new things and i really in implore you to encourage your kids to get their hands dirty in the garden and to have a little piece of earth that they can call their own and do whatever they want in it it will install a love of the garden and nature and, and god's creation so <sighs> that's enough rambling I am I'm gonna continue planting some of the seedlings that I had put in the under the grow lights I have we have some market cucumbers that I'm gonna put all over the place I need somewhere to trellis it I got a perfect idea actually I'm gonna use my old door to trellis them I got some a mixed variety of sunflowers that are kind of loppy loopy they're falling over but I'm gonna plant them anyway they'll straighten up on their own and I've got some more rosemary that I want to put everywhere because rosemary is my best friend in the kitchen and all around with my skin my hair all that stuff so oh it smells so good so good helps with memory too all right guys let me get back to it So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a mistake that I made um, with the trays that I put out here um, about two weeks ago. Um, they were, they are, some of them are doing great, right? But during this past couple of days where it's been stormy and raining, I forgot to put a lid on them. And unfortunately, some of them, like these red bachelor buttons ones are completely soaked. Look at that. So I don't think they're going to grow. But that's okay because I can just get some seeds and plant it right into that soil. And something should come out. Um, some of them are doing pretty good. Um, little asters. Little violet asters. They're going good. I'm still going to dump out some of that water. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. There we go. These are also pretty good, but again, filled, filled with water. So I'm just dumping out the waters and I'm probably gonna put them, instead of under the shade cloth, I'm gonna put them out a little bit more in the sun. This doesn't block 100% um, of the sun or anything like that. I forgot the percentage, my husband told me, um, even with the percentage that it is, uh, our, our Florida sun or whatever can penetrate it just fine. But I think to help the soil dry out just a little bit so that they don't get, you know, fungusy or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, but I also need to plant them. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to flip the camera so you see 
just how literally like just a few days of rain the floor is filled with life which is good but not good for my garden so let me show you look at this y'all obviously it's beautiful but it's just stuff I don't want in the garden I tried hoeing it a little bit you can tell back here I tried hoeing it yesterday I only went so far because clearly everything else is filled with green life so I don't know that's kind of cool here guys I don't know if you notice it but there's a lot of leaves from the bamboo that have fallen into this garden that are helping to mulch it so that's one of the good things about about bamboo is that when the leaves fall you can absolutely use it as a mulch it's a natural mulch i love it all right i think i'm going to start hoeing the garden Guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking this video, which really didn't have anything majorly educational in it, um, but it's just hanging out. Um, love you guys. Get your hands dirty in the garden and let your kids plant something. Um, they're going to love it. They're going to fall in love with the garden. Um, Bootstrap Farmer has these really cool see-through... Um, not the tray part, not the 1020 trays, but the, the cells, the one that goes into the cells, the little pots, um, and they're see-through. I have some here. I have not planted in them yet. I plan to. I plan to get the kids to, to plant with them because they'll be able to see all the roots. You can turn it into a homeschool lesson. You know, I don't know. Check them out. Um, I'll try to leave a link um, in the description for that. They are pretty cool. And if you can't do that, you should try um, like plastic cups, like see-through party cups or whatever. Um, we used those for years, 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 years. They're great for starting out seeds. So yeah, all right. Thanks guys for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed everything. I hope you liked the new gate and what so far is happening on in the garden and the farm. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you guys. God bless.